Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. Quick show and tell video today. Uh, definitely a new, uh, I guess, kind of a new category of products for me. I have reviewed a few of these products in the past, but uh, remember, guys, when you know YouTube influencers do videos and reviews, remember these are just my opinions. Uh, you know, I'm no expert when it comes to uh, what I think you should buy. I'm telling you what I buy and what I like. So uh, when I share a product like this, I don't want this to come across as me uh, letting you, you know, telling you this is the best of, of in its category or or that you should only buy this one. Uh, it's just I'm sharing it with you guys. So the, the product I want to share with you guys today is a firearm. Uh, you know, I picked up another firearm the other day. And uh, I love it. I mean, I've been wanting to get my hands on. I haven't had a. I haven't purchased a nine millimeter yet. So this is my first nine millimeter. Um, I have. A, I had other firearms, and I'm not going to get into all those. But there's a few on the channel you can check out um, if you're interested in that. They don't do really all that well because the firearm community. It, it's it's huge. There's so many guys and really big channels where little guys just kind of nobody even notices that they even put up a firearm. So it's 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 definitely very competitive. Uh, but if you do follow me and you follow my videos and you're subscribed to the channel, then you'll probably see this. So uh, the gun is by a company that, that goes by the name of Canic. It's a Turkish company. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, Canic made uh, firearms for the Turkish military. And uh, you know, honestly, you know, we're living in kind of crazy times right now, and uh, you know, it's ammunition's hard to find, firearms are hard to find. There's a frenzy in this country for people buying up stuff, and so I wanted to get my hands on something that I really liked. I wanted to get something that was a little bit smaller that you know I could use for concealed carry uh, if I decide to. Um, a lot of times, you know, I I don't want to get involved in a back and forth argument with my beliefs. Uh, concealed carry, but I do think there are times uh, where I feel comfortable carrying a firearm and other times where I just feel like um, it's just not really a good idea. You know, I just feel like, although, again, not to get political, not to get involved in a back and forth, but I feel like as much as I like the idea of carrying a firearm, I like the idea of uh, you know, always having one on me. I also feel like a firearm can very quickly escalate a situation. Um, there's a lot of responsibility with carrying a firearm and owning a firearm. So remember, always be safe, always take proper training courses, always consult professionals uh, should you decide to carry or buy anything, uh, and always use try to use the best judgment you can. So, uh, But I love guns. I really enjoy guns. And so I, uh, I was going to get something like a Beretta. Um, I forget the name of it. This is a smaller uh, sub uh, subcompact 9mm. But, you know, this gun, I remember going into a local pawn shop about a year ago. My dad picked up a SAR 9mm, and I've been wanting to get one. And I, uh, I saw this one like this in the case, and I just was drawn to the, the look. And uh, so I'm pretty fortunate that I was able to get one. So um, I got this off Gun Broker, and I'll put a link in the description uh, from the gentleman I got it from. I want to at least refer some business his way, uh, should you guys want to make a purchase. Uh, he's great. He can get a lot of different things, even if he doesn't have it listed. Uh, I found that he was uh, very cost-effective, very competitive, and very professional. He took the time to call me, uh, explain a little bit about the gun, you know, kind of rest. Because, you know, when you're buying a gun through Gun Broker, Gun Broker kind of brings people together, a seller and a, a you know, a, 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 um, a customer. And basically, you just basically buy it off Gun Broker. In this case, he didn't even take the Gun Broker's payment system. So, uh, basically how it works, he sends me an invoice using his own credit card process company, uh, whoever he may choose to use, um, and basically I just buy it through his invoice. Um, you know, and you got to be careful on the internet, but I like the fact he took the time to call me and, and we had a discussion about the gun and other firearms. He talked about himself a little bit, so uh, it was nice just that he provided that customer service. His name's John. Um, it just put my mind at ease. It makes me want to go back to him, right? Uh, which I will be going back to him in a couple of weeks here, maybe next week. So I have a really cool 12 gauge bull pup I got my eye on. So, uh, so let's talk about the Canic. So, uh, this is a striker fired nine millimeter. Um, I love the color and that was a real deciding factor in me getting a Canic. Um, I watched a lot of video reviews on these and you know, um, Nobody's really making any junk for the most part, and Canic seems like a good company. It's got a lot of really great reviews by guys who know a lot about firearms. Um, again, for me, I'm kind of a novice, although I've been collecting and shooting guns for a long time. I um, I wouldn't consider myself professional by any means, but I do know what I like, so I'm professional in that regard. So, Canic, this is the TP9DA. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, Canic only makes 9 millimeters. Uh, this is a 16... <coughs> a... 
edit. <laughs> this is a 16 plus one magazine. Uh, it does come with two magazines. I did order four more the other day. Let's try that again. There we go. Pops in and out with ease. Um, I'll have to see how the pro, this is, who makes this mag? Is this pro mag? Uh, so this is Metgar, a Metgar magazine. So these Metgar magazines are made for Canik. Um, if you want to buy the Metgar replacement magazines, you have to go directly through Canik. I, to the best of my knowledge, you can't find the Metgar magazines on the Metgar website. So you're going to pay about 35 bucks for them. I went with uh, Pro Mag, uh, Sportsman's Guide. They were 15, 15, 97. So I'll probably buy a few more. What I want to do is make sure that they seat properly. Uh, my dad, Sar, uh, he had to actually grind down this kind of plastic piece a little bit in order to get it to seat properly. It was actually hitting the bottom of the gun. Uh, kind of a common problem with those particular mags and that particular firearm, because they use this, I believe the CZ-75 mags. Uh, this is a magazine specifically to Canik. Again, if I, if I misspeak, just correct me, drop me a comment, be nice about it. Uh, you do have a nice Picatinny rail in the front if you want to mount the flashlight or laser. Um, I'm not really going to do that. Um, this is a striker fire weapon, so basically you don't have an exposed hammer. I'm more of a fan of an exposed hammer, but nothing wrong with striker fire. Uh, and this is a double action pistol. So uh, in the event that you pull the trigger, it doesn't go off. Uh, you can pull the trigger again and get a second strike out of it. Um, it does have a, um, and like with any weapon, guys, always make sure, even if you know it's unloaded, uh, this is common, hopefully common sense, always double check that the gun is loaded. Treat it like it's loaded all the time, even if you know it's unloaded. Uh, even if you've checked it's unloaded, treat it like it's loaded. Uh, so with this gun, um, not really out too much else to say about it. Um, it does come with, what is it, Warren? Warren Sights, which I've been told is a, is a decent, a reputable sight company. Um, they are adjustable to the best of my knowledge. And what I like about this is that it is striker fired, but on the back you have this red dot. And so this indicates that the weapon is actually cocked, uh, that the hammer or the, uh, the striker is pulled back, and it does have a built-in decocker. So if you want to decock the weapon, you press this button, and decox button. The idea in that is if you want to actually keep a round in the chamber, naturally you and you want to decock it, you know, you, normally you would lower the hammer. With this, you basically decock it. Again, double check with a, you know, a, a professional. Don't do that in the house. Um, I feel a little uneasy with a decocker. I've never really had a, a, a weapon with a decocker before. Um, I'm not really a one in the chamber guy, you know what I mean? Uh, but if you are inclined, that's the way you want to roll. Uh, it does have a decocker, and then once it's decocked, um, it's double action. So you pull the trigger to fire the first round, and then you're ready to rock and roll 16 or 18 plus one. So uh, really nice capacity. I was pretty surprised that with 18 rounds that it was going to be kind of big and bulky. Um, pretty small. I mean, it's definitely, I mean, it's a full-size handgun, but um, it's it's awesome. Um, it has a trigger safety, and, you know, that's really really about it. That's about, you know, I'm not going to get involved in manufacturing all this stuff. I didn't really do a, a whole ton of research on this, um, and I don't really know a lot about the company on the fact that the main reason I got it was a lot of guys on YouTube, pretty well-known gun review guys, Gave it a good review. One of my coworkers is a former Marine. Uh, said it's a fantastic weapon. The price is great. I got it for 404. I'll put a link in the description if they're still available. You can get them. I'll uh, put the link to the description where you can get a hold of my guy. Um, it's an awesome gun. And what's great about it is it has a Cerakote burnt bronze. Um, I didn't really want something. You guys know I'm a flashy guy. I want something uh, that was a little bit different. And so I love this color. Um, now I will say that in the um, a lot of the pictures you see, this gun will look gold. Um, and so my dad, he's more conservative. He was like, what do you want a gold gun for, you know? Uh, but when you get it, and I'm not even sure how it's going to look in this video, when you get the gun, it's a, it's called burnt bronze. Keep in mind that it's not the flat dark earth, the FDE. Uh, that's more of like kind of a tan color. Uh, so this is, to the best of my knowledge, the TP9DA is the only Canik available in the burnt bronze. I could be wrong, but from what I was able to find, this was the only one. Um, it kind of has a slight metallic quality. Um, it is bronzy, but I will say in certain lighting, if it's not too bright, it kind of takes on kind of a metallic green. Uh, so again, not over the top. Not so it's going to stand out like a sore thumb. Uh, of course, if it was gold, I wouldn't mind, but um, it's a great color. Uh, enough where... Uh, or, uh, 
a color that my dad even appreciates, and he would never rock, you know, a gold gun. So, um, awesome weapon. I'm really happy with it. I haven't fired it yet, but um, I will once our ranges open up. Probably take it out Plinky one of these days. Uh, but just wanted to share that with you guys. Check out Canic. I think they're a fantastic company. Um, again, I can't give you guys information on longevity or, um, you know, how it shoots, but um, there's lots of guys on YouTube who've reviewed this gun and said nothing but good things about it. So um, I really like the the way that they've in the polymer they've kind of um, kind of etched in this almost like it feels like sandpaper. Uh, fantastic grip. This thing definitely feels good in your hands. Doesn't feel like it's gonna fall out of your hands. And again, guys, remember I'm no you know I'm no professional when it comes to this stuff. Um, I. Uh, I just, I enjoy firearms, I enjoy shooting, and I, I like adding them to my collection. So check it out, guys. Let me know if I can help you in any way. I'll do the best I can with something like this. Uh, this uh, magazine, or this gun holster, I got off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description as well. Uh, not bad for the money. Two for $9.99. So uh, again, it's universal. Uh, fits the gun pretty nice. It's got a metal clip. It is... Um, uh, adjustable so you can you can put it left hand or right hand but what I did is I made one left one right uh, so if I want to carry it uh, you know my back I can I can use a different um, a different holster so um, it does come with a, uh, a kydex I believe it's called a uh, holster which uh, is pretty nice as well comes with the case cleaning kit uh, magazine loader and second magazine so uh, 404 ship uh, 404 not ship uh, depending on where you may live you may be able to find it cheaper uh, right now with the way things are going uh, where I live, like you can't find anything. There's like nothing, and if you're and the only thing you can find are like really high end, super expensive guns. So um, I get again, I got this through Gun Broker. Basically, bought it through Gun Broker. Some of the guys on there will uh, take payment directly through Gun Broker. Uh, my seller went ahead and sent me an invoice. I paid the invoice. Uh, there was a three percent card fee on top of that. So four hundred four plus your state sales tax, your uh, your three percent fee. And shipping, everybody ships a little differently. He charged twenty five dollars to ship. Then, of course, you pay your transfer fee and tax. So, uh, just about five hundred bucks. Uh, but it's a fantastic gun. I'm glad I got it, and uh, I'll have a lot of fun shooting it uh, one of these days. So, anyway, guys, let me know if I get up in any kind of way. Uh, if you are a firearms guy, you want to check out some of the other guns I reviewed, crossbows, bows. Uh, there is a playlist for that on the channel, believe it or not. Uh, I always like to share these different things I'm into. Although you guys know I'm more of a Cologne Watch, Smart Home Tech guy. Um, guns are uh, something that I. I I definitely appreciate and now that things are kind of weird uh, in our country uh, as far as you know things not becoming not really readily available and, and prices jumping up I definitely want to get a few more toys um, in the not too distant future so anyway if I can help you guys let me know drop a comment drop me an email uh, subscribe to the channel if you like the content which I know you will but do click the bell to be notified anytime I upload a new video guys happy holidays be kind to one another and take care